There are many ways to locate images, but Google's advanced image search allows you to narrow your results to images where the author has given you permission to reuse the work in your multimedia project. Go to Google, go to Images, go to Advanced Image Search, enter your keywords, under Content Types you might want to change it to Photo Content, I don't really like clip art or line drawings and in my multimedia projects. The rest of these things you can leave as they are. Under usage rights, and this is the important thing, you want to make sure that they have a license that allows you to use them and modify them. So labeled for reuse with modification, which means that you're going to include them in something, maybe have some music playing while the photo is displayed, maybe have some text over the photo, I, uh, maybe it's part of a video. I don't know what you're going to do with the image, but you're probably not just going to have the image by itself. You're going, you're going to do something with it. Then go to Google search, and you get a lot of images. You can browse through them. I like this one here because there's no people and it's a school bus and fairly artistic. When I click on the image, it takes me to the site where the image actually exists. If I just close this, I'm at the website where the image actually exists. Now there's a couple things you need to do once you get here. You need to first make sure that the license is actually what Google thinks it is. And so I'm going to look for the licensing information, which is right here under the word license. Um, and by clicking on the licensing information, I can go get more information about it. Uh, I'm going to click on the license here. It says that I am free to share, which means I can copy, distribute, and transmit the work, and I'm able to remix it, change it, modify it, adapt it. I'm free to do those things under the following conditions. I have to attribute the work in the manner specified by the author. I can't make any money off of this project. And if I alter, transform, or build upon this work, I need to distribute the final product under the same or similar license to this one. So it means if I use this, then I'm going to need to license my work and share it in the same way that this image has been shared with me. I'm going to click back to go back to the image. So I now know that, yes, I'm able to use this image. Um, I should now write down all of the information I'm going to need to use to cite um, my source. Uh, so a couple things. Here is the web address where the photo exists. Um, here is the author or creator. I can click on these links and go get more information about there, but here's the person's name. And the title of the work is School Bus. So I have the title, the author, the address. I'm now able to download this photo and use it in my multimedia project. And I would just need to use that information um, that we can collect on this page to cite where I got this photo. I'd like to show you another example because not all of the photos that you find will be as easy to get the information as off of the Flickr website. So again, we go to Google, then to Images, Advanced Image Search. Enter your 
keywords, change any of these settings you want. Under Usage Rights, choose Labeled for Reuse with Modification. Hit Google Search. Here are the results. Here's a very artistic, um, looks like a night version of Cornfield. By clicking on it, it takes me to the site that it exists. I can close this. And here I am. This looks like an uh, individual's website. I need to look for the licensing information. This is his photo blog, I can see. And down here at the very bottom, this work is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution non-commercial share-alike license. And he has some attribution requirements for the work. If we click on that, it tells us that we are free to use this work under certain conditions. And then he gives a whole bunch of um, basically exactly how he wants you to cite um, when you use it and you just have to follow this information and you're able to use it. I would need to just collect all this information which is nice because it's all sitting right here uh, for my citation and then I could go back, download the photo, use it in my multimedia presentation.